It's about to get real. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Black Magic Craft. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of new goodies. I reached out to Gerard from shiftinglands.com about some of the incredible tools that he makes. If you are unfamiliar with Shifting Lands and his work, he does a ton of laser cut MDF tools for train building. And a lot of those tools are designed to work for on the Proxon Thermocut hotwire table to basically make it an even more powerful terrain making tool. He also makes templates and uh, you know a lot of jigs and as well as some pieces that you can actually use in your builds like laser cut windows and stuff like that. But I was mostly interested in the jigs that he produces for the Proxon table. So I reached out to him and asked if he would send a couple tools for me to try out and demo on the channel. And he did. And he went way out of his way and he sent me a ton of stuff. This is not even all of it. There's still a few of the more elaborate, complicated tools that I haven't assembled yet or even tried. And there's a few versions of some of these tools and some other cool things. But this is the stuff that I was able to put together uh, in the past week since getting them and play around with a little bit. He makes so many different jigs that I don't think it would do any of them justice to try to cover them all in one video. So I want to start off with what is probably the most important base tool if you're going to start investing in Proxon jigs and accessories. That is this, the Guider Pro. He actually sent me two versions, a Guider Pro and the Guider Pro 2.0, which has some additional features, but I wanted to do my due diligence and start with the, the basic one, the first version, which is wonderful and show you guys that. And then later, once I've gotten used to this one, try out the 2.0 to see if the improvements really make a big difference, if the extra options are really worth it. But honestly, the price is pretty similar, so I'm assuming they will be worth it. But we're gonna start here with the basic one. Uh, I'm also gonna demo this shift board accessory that you'll see a little later. So we're gonna focus on those two tools in this video and I'm going to wait on the other ones until they become part of my building routine. And I use them a lot because I don't really want to just give you an out of the box first impression. I want to give you my review as a user of them somewhat long term. But the, the Guider Pro is something that I've been itching to have for a long time. And I knew immediately that I would love it and that like, I, don't, I don't need a long time to test it because it's, it's really good. For the record, this video is in no way financially sponsored by Shifting Lands. He gave me this stuff to try out and that's that. This is my honest views on it. Take it or leave it. These accessories are going to be for the serious train builder who's really into this hobby and wants to up their efficiency and their quality, but it is another financial investment on top of already investing in the Proxon table. So it's not gonna be for everyone and I realize that, but I know that a lot of you have purchased the Proxon hot wire table and are now using it in your builds. So I want to be sure to show you everything that's out there to really get the most out of your tool. And to be honest, these jigs do that. They turn a quality tool for hobby building and turn it into a powerful machine that can do all sorts of like really incredible things very efficiently and very well, especially when we get to like the angle cutter and the tool number five, which I'm haven't even started assembling yet because it's a little bit overwhelming and I haven't had that much time. So let's go over to the Proxon table and I will show you the Guider Pro and you can make your own decision for yourself. So here we have the Proxon hot wire table that you all know about already. You guys that own this know about its one weakness which is this rip fence it's not incredibly stable it flexes back and forth and it's very low now a lot of people complain about the fact that this fence um, bends a bit if you put pressure on it and flares out and i think that's actually like a false thing to be concerned about 
because you're cutting on a very small point on this wire. It's not like a saw blade on a table saw where bending would actually curve your cut. It doesn't actually matter which angle you go through on this wire to keep a straight line. As long as you are on a flat, straight edge, it doesn't matter if it's bowing. And it's preventable by just keeping some pressure on it. However, this rip fence, this is real flaw to me as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that it's so low. So if I wanna run foam vertically, it's really hard to keep this plumb and get an even line when you cut this. You're basically relying on your own skill to keep it and it can wobble and not give you a very good cut. So in my opinion, that is where the Guider Pro really shines. So just so you see how this thing is set up, it's essentially just a 90 degree um, square with a handle and a little rail made of wood that sits in the same guide hole as the stock rip fence. This doesn't lock in place. It fits fairly snug, but it's designed so that when you're using it, you just keep some downward pressure on the handle and this is nice and secure. The really amazing thing about it is the fact that this is so tall, you can actually run foam through vertically and you have a nice solid surface that's, I think, uh, what is this? This is like seven inches. How tall is this? This is uh, like five and a half inches tall. So pretty much as big of a piece of foam as will fit under the wire can be fully supported with this rip fence here. And you can put a lot of pressure that way and get yourself a perfect cut that is perfectly the same thickness throughout. It's, it's really, really amazing. It would be impossible with the rip fence that comes with the table to get pieces that are milled this precisely and this Thin. As you know, when doing things like timbers and shingles, I like to use uh, very thin material. And it's sometimes hard to do that with a factory, with a factory rip fence. So here I'm just gonna make a piece to start with so I can show you where this really comes in handy and also how the shift board helps when using this piece. So I'm just taking a piece here that I want to start with. So here, now this is inch and a half thick foam. And if I want to have a piece that's th this big by one eighth of an inch thin or whatever it may be, I can set this to whatever thickness I want and then I can run my foam through. And because this Guider Pro is so solid and so tall, it keeps everything nice and uniform and the same thickness across the length of the cut. So now I have this incredibly thin piece of foam. Like it's so thin that I could wrap it like that. There's no way you could mill pieces like this with the factory rip fence. Now let's say you wanna mill down a piece that's already fairly thin and you wanna run it close to the wire and you don't wanna to touch the wire and you just want a bit of help with that. That is where this shift board comes into play. It's just a piece of MDF with a handle and it's got a little lip on it on the back here that holds your piece. So you set your rip fence where you want it and you can use this shift board to feed your piece through and it keeps really consistent pressure on your piece the whole time ensuring a uniform cut and you have no risk of uh, getting close to that wire with your finger. Although, to be honest, 
touching the wire is not a huge deal as long as you don't hold it there. But as you can see, really wafer thin material, all facilitated by these two tools. There is a 2.0 version of this Guider Pro. It has a few more features that you can check out. I'll link to that one in the description so you can compare and see if you know those features are appealing to you and I will test them out in a future video. This shift board is an option. Take it or leave it. it, it I don't think you need it. This tool on its own improves the functionality of the Proxon by like 100% and this tool just kind of makes it slightly better than it would be without it. So it's not as needed, but it's nice to have if you're ordering stuff anyway. But that's basically it guys. I can honestly say that this tool is 100% replacing the factory rip vents for me. I'm gonna be using this every single time I use my Proxon from now on. And my only regret is that it took me so long to get around to actually getting some of these tools that I've known about for quite a while. So there you go, guys. That is a pretty simple demonstration of this Guider Pro tool and the shift board. Again, it's not a requirement, but it is something that if you've already invested in the Proxon Hotwire table and you wanna get the most out of it, I think it's a very, very valuable investment and jig. The only downside that I really see with purchasing this stuff is that Shifting Lands is based out of the Netherlands. So for those of us in North America, we have to deal with the consequences of paying for shipping it overseas, which is a little unfortunate. And I think that's really where you have to decide if it's worth the cost. I think the cost of the actual items themselves is very fair. They are built really, really well. His um, laser cutting and like design is very, well thought out and everything fits together really well. These tools are gonna last a long time if you take the time to glue them and assemble them the way that he shows you in the instructions. And that's something I wanna point out too. These tools do require assembly, but he ships with all the tools, really detailed instructions with photos and advice on how to make sure you set them up square so that they function properly. Take a little bit of effort, but hey, you're terrain builders, you can build a jig. It's just like putting together another model kit. If you want to pick up the Guider Pro or any of his other tools, you can head over to shiftinglands.com. In the description below, I will also put links directly to the two tools that I demoed on this video. I th am not getting any sort of affiliate commissions or anything on these sales. Um, he doesn't really have set up to do that sort of thing. And this is really just me recommending them. And I would love it that if you guys liked it and you go purchase some of those tools, maybe send him a message letting him know that Black Magic Craft sent you his way, just so he has an idea that, you know, all this stuff that he sent to me wasn't for nothing. Um, but I think that some of you will realize the value in these tools and consider picking them up. Anyways, that's it for this little review here. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, drop me a comment below. If you are perusing his website and there's other tools you're interested in that you really wanna see me try out on the channel, the ones that really pique your interest, let me know what they are and maybe I'll prioritize demoing that one next. And of course, if you wanna pick up any of the other tools and accessories that I use on this channel regularly, these jigs excluded, you can head over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There I have my essential equipment store where you can purchase all the stuff that I recommend through my Amazon affiliate links, giving the channel a small commission to keep funding these videos. And if you wanna be really proactive in helping fund these videos, the best way you can do that is by supporting Black Magic Craft on Patreon. If you pledge at the $5 a month level there, you will see that you get access to the Black Magic Craft Fellowship, which is the little community of crafters and terrain builders uh, that I'm building around this channel. You get access to the private Facebook group where we hang out, share our work, get advice, brainstorm ideas. You can submit video ideas and whatnot. There's some exclusive content there. So please, if you are considering helping me out, I would really appreciate it. The Patreon support, it plays no small part in these videos continuing. Anyways, that's enough with that. Until next week, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. If you're playing a game, I hope it is awesome and that your players are blown away by the sweet stuff that you are dropping on the game table. Okay, guys, peace. See you again next week. Yeah.